Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. This is Elma. And this is Jerwin. And, and Chopel. We're, We're two, two Asians, Asians and, and a dog. dog. In this video, we will share six additional ways you can save money fast. Now, if you haven't seen part one of our Save Money Fast series, then I'll go ahead and link that video in the description box below so you can check it out. So, if you're ready to get more ideas on how to save money fast, then keep on watching. We're two Asians and a dog and our channel is about sharing our journey to reaching 8-12-2024, which is our retirement date. We will go over real estate investing, stock market investing, personal finance, and also mm -hmm. our travels. So join our journey. And don't forget to stay tuned for our tip, tip of, the of the week. week. Alright, so let's get started on fast money tip number one. Save on energy costs. Check out our previous video on ways to save on energy around the house. We'll go ahead and link that video in the description box below. But in that video, we talked about how to reduce energy consumption mm -hmm. around the house and using uh, solar energy. Now, this is probably one of the easiest money tips uh, that you can get started on right away and it would have the biggest impact. Fast money tip number two, cancel your gym membership. I personally had a gym membership for over 10 years and one of the reasons I canceled it was because we moved and also COVID. And at the same time, it made me realize I don't need the gym nor did I miss it. One of the reasons I was going was because I get motivated. Seeing people working out motivated me and subconsciously it made me more competitive. So today what I do to overcome not going to the gym is thinking about all the money we've saved. So not going to the gym means one less expenses for us. And it makes me realize that what can I do without that one expense? Mm -hmm. So one thing I think about is I can save that money towards vacation or even working less. So instead of going to the gym, we actually started working out from the garage. Mm -hmm. We know we don't have a lot of equipment, but we are still learning and figuring out what we need. We have resistance bands, dumbbells, jump rope, and currently, I think that's all we need. But we do plan on adding more to our collections. Some people think they need so many machines and so many weights. But in reality, most of us are not trained to be in the Warrior Ninja or the Olympics. So you don't need all these extra toys that you probably honestly won't use. Next is fast money tip number three, do it yourself. We have saved so much money using this strategy. If it's something that we can learn quickly by watching a YouTube tutorial, then we prefer to do it ourselves rather than hiring a professional. Imagine how much money you can save by taking the time to learn. Also, learning to do minor repairs around the house will save you from calling the handyman. Better yet, before you call the handyman, Ask your friends, your coworkers, or even your neighbors for help first. Know your limits and your comfort level. If you don't know the difference between a flathead screwdriver or a drill bit, mm -hmm. you probably shouldn't be installing drywall in your house. What you could do is YTS, YouTube that For me, for example, I don't do anything electrical. Mm -hmm. Many years ago, I was shocked, and ever since then, I've been scared of an outlet. For us, we have done a few things around the house that we're very proud of. Mm -hmm. We installed our own faucets. Yeah. Um, what else have we done? We've done the um, pantry shelves, the pantry shelves, the planter box, mm -hmm. and believe it or not, we actually installed our own shed. Now, granted, it's not the nicest looking shed, and it did have a strong roof, but it had three walls instead of four. And there was no door. No door at all. <laughs> all right, next is fast money tip number four increase your car insurance deductible. Car insurance, a necessary evil we all have to pay. Now, one idea that we learned from reading Scott Trench's book, uh, Set for Life, is to increase your car insurance deductible. Now, there's pros and cons to doing this, and you have to do your own research to see if this is something that would benefit you. We are all different drivers, and we all have different needs. But for us, we have a great driving history record, and for that reason, we felt comfortable to go ahead and increase our insurance deductible and we were able to save money by doing this remember guys every little thing that you do to save money adds up over time fast money tip number five become a one-car family 
doing this can literally save you thousands and thousands of dollars now and throughout the years. This is also linked to money tip number four. If you only have one car, then you only pay insurance for one car. Now we're aware that for some people, this is not a possibility. However, if you do decide to downsize to a one car family, imagine the potential savings you can build very quickly. It doesn't have to be a permanent solution either. This is something that you could do temporarily to reach your goals. You just have to really dig deep know your goals and create a plan. We have personally done this twice now. At JP Morgan, Elma would drop me off in the morning or sometimes I'd bring a change of clothes and I would literally run home. Now we know this involves a lot of planning, a lot of sacrifices, but if you're able to, you can save a lot of money. We were also able to help out our family members. Both scenarios, both of our families needed the car more than we did. And so what we did was we dropped off the cars and we ended up having to adapt. Now this was very challenging but we were able to save money and also help people out. Fast money tip number six, shop early for birthdays and holidays. Now we all know what, what time of the month the holidays are, right? Well, then why do we wait till the last few weeks to buy our presents? When we do wait, we tend to buy more expensive presents because at that point, we're paying for convenience. Also, when we wait, our gifts tend to be less thoughtful because we're rushing it. Birthdays. Birthdays for our loved ones usually fall in the same month, mm -hmm. year after year after year. So now why do we wait till the last weekend to buy our presents? I personally have been guilty of this, so I understand. Mm -hmm. But now we just know to buy our gifts sooner. Because as the gifter, you'll enjoy the process a lot more because you're taking your time. And hopefully you're getting a deal on there. And as the person receiving the gift, you're definitely going to like your gift better because you know the gifter took their time and they bought you the right gift, uh -huh. not just any gift. We always say that it doesn't matter how fast you're going on your financial journey. All that matters is that you're going forward. Just be sure that every decision that you make is aligned with your goals in mind. That's everything that we have for you guys today. We hope that this video gives you ideas uh, that you could do right now to start saving money fast. Don't forget to subscribe to see more videos on personal finance, real estate investing, and stock market investing. And don't forget to hit that like button on your way out. Now it's time for tip, tip of, of the week. week. Tip of the week. Make a list throughout the year what your friends and family want for their Christmas and their birthday gifts. Doing so allows you to keep an eye on that item when it goes on sale. <laughs>